Here we go, Diablo Hills. This is hole number one. This is the revlog. We're going. Yep, got a re tee. First hole, kind of a weird one. It says 264. It probably plays about 280, although I don't really hit it very far, so I wouldn't know. You hit down to a generous fairway. There are houses left and right. Contact was better than it looked. And you have like a bunch of bunkers, so you don't want to end up in the bunkers, but you're really just hitting up this hill. Caught that skinny, but I actually got away with it because I misjudged how far it was. So a little rain soaked and all that. But this whole concept is you're just bombing driver or three wood and then hitting a wedge up a hill to a blind approach. It's a pretty cool opening hole and it's very forgiving. Then you cross these streets and then you go to the like the next wave of golf holes and this hole to me when I was younger a younger version of Aluki in 2011 this was such a long hole to me and it's such a fulfilling feeling to play a 328 yard par 4 and hit a quacker and not even get it out there good but hit it further than I used to hit the ball when I played it there's bunkers in the fairways that's about 228 off the tee I would say 200 range I hit a 9 iron um, out of there and I hit it really good just tried to pull a 9 iron so those are about like 200 215 if you hit left you can go there generous fairway pretty soft conditions and just chip up and down two pars love to see it hole 3 um, I got a hole in one. This is where my first hole in one happened. And there's a trick to this hole because I got a hole in one here. I'll tell you, you never want to aim left. You want to go right. Uh, decent gap wedge. When I hit a hole in one, I hit a nine iron. So technology has improved. My swing probably hasn't, but see that tree right there. That's probably the perfect line because if you get a good shot and it gets a bounce, it's probably going to go towards a pin that's located there. I hit the hill and it just kind of came down hot because I just, didn't really hit a great, great shot. But if you aim right, <clears throat> you can get away with... You have a bigger margin for error. And I think that when you play golf, especially recreationally, that's what you want to do. Third par. Now, this fourth hole is really, really a cool hole. It's basically a golf hole you would see at a destination golf course. But you see it at this course that is really just kind of for weekend golfers. And it's pretty chill. It's like a nice thing. So it's like a 60, 70 yard shot, maybe 80 yard downhill. Um, one of the streets in Walnut Creek run parallel to it. There's a couple of bunkers and there's kind of a mountain little range that runs next to it. It's really, really a cool short par three. And what makes it also great is it has one of the trickier greens. It has a lot of movement and it always plays pretty quick. Not documenting it the greatest, but I feel like this hole when I didn't play good golf was always like one of the easier holes and when I'm feeling like I play better golf it's always like a bogey and it's kind of that's kind of cool put the fence up rather recently you cross the street you go here there used to be uh, a fence where you'd go and uh, that was crazy but it, decent result I hit the pole cut or a slice as most people would say bunkers and you're gonna see this also it's a blind shot off of the tee you just have to go right 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 so however you can create a right shot i got lucky once again landed in the fairway pretty great just once again this is just a little course knowledge for everybody aim left of the green and it's gonna bounce back to the right right is death on this hole i just aimed left hit the hill and it got a generous kick it almost bounced in and your boy got a birdie so I'm back to even par. This hole is really cool. It's a 254 par four. Yes, I'm hitting driver because I don't hit that long. It is a little uphill. This took a weird bounce. I won't ever know what happened, but it hit something really hard and made a funny noise. You can't hear it. This is where what it looks like if you lay up. I think I hit the lip of the bunker and it actually killed all the speed of the ball. And I actually was hole high to the right, which pretty friggin awesome because i've never even done that on this hole i've been out like right a lot of times but i've never hit it on this green so that was a really cool feeling and i didn't know where it was back to back birdies who am i are you ready to see the worst shot of the round you better believe it i've been playing good golf and i'm about to top one because i'm working on this new swing thought and all types of stuff and that's how you do something if you go left on this really hard par three for me 
um, basically you're going to lose a ball. I somehow rode the cart path all the way up and ended up hole high. I thought I lost my ball because I was like, oh, there's no way this went more than 80 yards. It actually went hole high, and I snuck out with a par. You guys won't believe me and gals, but it really did happen. So now here's the last thing. I played a little Twilight round, so you saw some young adults coming home from their job site, coming in with some Trader Joe's bags was the typical move that you saw. This, when I was growing up, was a popular skateboard spot. You could only skate it for about five to ten minutes before law enforcement would get called. But that was a thing. So if you watch any local Walnut Creek skateboarding videos from the 2000s, you'll see that place probably. So just hit a draw, or not a draw, the opposite of a draw, a cut. There's a blind, it's a blind fairway uphill. There is a bunker. You want to stay to the left. I basically aim left and hope the ball would go right. My three wood is not where it needs to be, but it's okay. That just means it's not the end. It left me a good gap wedge number though. I was about like 110 and it hit a surprisingly solid gap wedge in here. So it's just an uphill par five and really you're just playing to the third shot and in my opinion if you can get it anywhere close to the green you just want to get it as close to the green as possible to get the lowest number walked away with a par there par five you go through there you go through a condo complex and then number nine it's almost like a tribute to the great disaster at pine valley the more i learn about golf architecture or something there's just a huge disaster shout out gary loomis i don't know you but I used to play golf around the time um, you passed away, and there's a tribute to you, and I'm sure you were a great guy. And there's just this big bunker. This was a 75-yard shot for me. I went past the fairway. I played it like a 60-yard shot, and I hit a money wedge in there. Filthy. But that's kind of like the great disaster. Just a ton of bunkers. It had just rained. Downhill, there's a bit of slope. You can kind of see it, but basically you have to stay short of the hazard. Knocked it in another birdie. Don't know what my score was because I didn't particularly care, but I do love seeing the prime rib dinner every Friday night. That's how you know you played Diablo Hills. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. Trying to bring you more videos. Just overworked lately.